Hello everyone, my name is Brew Kirk. you can call me Brew, and <clears throat> if I sound a little bit rough, if I'm a little bit uh, throat cleary, uh, lung coffee, nose bungy, it's because, uh, well, I've been traveling uh, for work and things, and yes, I am getting sick. So, if I sound a little bit different, that's why. What are we up for today? Well, today, well, today, considering, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Damn this 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 robotic throat of mine. Uh, today, yes, it is sick time brew. Mm -hmm. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to lock and load with three point eighteen point one coming. That is uh, advertised as having a soft wipe. We're going to lose our physical things. We should be keeping our money in our rep. But anything that we've bought or looted in game will go and disappear. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick to get a full suit of armor and weapons in just minutes when you first log back on in a starter ship. It is so, so cool, super, super easy, and anyone can do it. So let's take out our little starter ship. We won't take out the big constellation. And I will talk you through how it's done. I hope you enjoy this episode. <clears throat> My throat is closing in on itself to the hangar. Yes, Brew, it's 6 o'clock. <laughs> now, the first thing we need to do to make this mission completely authentic is get naked. Well, you can't be fully naked, you are going to need an undersuit and a helmet. We've got our little starter ship. You do need to be in the Crusader... Ooh, a bit of debris. Crusader section of space to do this. That little person? No, just a bit more debris. Um, And you're going to want to quantum to Yella. After quantuming to Yella, so you're going to need to be in the Crusader region of space. You're looking for a location on the moon. I think it's a moon, isn't it? Um, called Utopia. And I think it's near the southern pole. Yep, there we go. So we're going to fly to Utopia. Now be very careful because it is an installation that has uh, defense turrets. So do not get too close. So let's warp to Utopia. Now, just like we've mentioned before, because we have no specific mission to be here, if we turn off our quantum after arriving, we don't really have a marker to tell us where the uh, where the location is. So keep your quantum on, and you want to get within 2,000 meters. Don't get any closer for now. Get to within 2,000 meters and be conscious of any ships that might be spawning. You might need to fight them off, or if they're doing too much damage, Retreat until uh, someone completes their bounty mission. So 2,000 meters, let's get within that range. Okay, that's close enough for now. Let's turn off our quantum drive. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to orbit this uh, outpost or this this uh, this location at the 2,000 meter mark. You can go uh, third person if that's easier. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a small outpost above ground that doesn't have defense turrets. Now, I can actually see it because there's light over there. But if you can't, if you skirt around, uh, or it might be that over there, if you skirt around the station, oh, I'm getting a bit close, at 2,000 meters and keep looking to the ground, you will see it. But I think it is actually over there. So let's go again, just make sure don't get too close. Now, I just popped away to cough up a lung, and you can see now an enemy cutlass has arrived you can expect to have to deal with that so just be conscious that you're going to have to um fight off a cutlass when you're doing this little mission so if you're not confident in that just be careful and when you're fighting it off also just be careful you don't get too close to that station because it will light you up but in a starter ship you should be able to deal with the cutlass hopefully and um, just keep circling and keep moving don't stop keep putting uh rounds into it you should be just, just fine. If uh, you get too badly damaged, <coughs> retreat. Because you don't want to die. And we'll just deal with this cutlass. Like the little little bug we are scratching at. Come on, cutlass. Might actually be able to take out some of the enemies for us if we blow it up. I think it's... Yeah, we must have like shot down its turret or something. Or, oh no, no, we haven't. Keep yeah, don't yeah. Follow your own advice, bro. Keep circling, keep moving. We've only got size. When I've no, you might be asking why I've turned off the Omni skies. I just do that in this ship, so I uh, 
you know, have one gimbal set of weapons as opposed to as opposed to uh, one gimbal, one fix. It just really distracts me. So I do know I've done that. Just uh, if you do see it, that's the reason why I've done that. Gonna get really close and just hide under its guns. There we go. We'll be able to shoot us. <clears throat> it's not being overly aggressive, but there we go. Lovely job there. Okay, let me go cough the rest of my lung up. Um, but yeah, this is what you're, you're going to be looking for. This little settlement. Isn't it cool? I didn't even know it was there. And you can see the other... Um, cutlasses that must have been destroyed by others before so we are exactly from the uh outpost wherever it is there it is over there 1692 so i've broken my own rules so just be careful it probably should have started shooting at us because those size uh i think size four guns that the turrets have are 1800 meter range <clears throat> but yeah this is what you're looking for and let me just go remove uh a lung and uh <laughs> I'll talk you through the rest of it. Now then, uh, the lung has been successfully removed. Uh, we've drifted off course. Here we are. Now, the great thing about this is we have no armor. It's 318.1, no guns. Um, we might have money, but we're trying to save up for a ship that we've been grinding. Look at all these little fellers down here. And because they're out in the open like this, we can blast them with our starter ship. Quantum drive off. Look at them, they're so cute. They're trying to shoot my sheep. Good night, sweet princess. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, my friends. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to clear up this area. Make sure you kill everybody just in case you get shot um, accidentally. Give them a few blaps because sometimes they get back up or respawn or whatever. So we're going to kill this little area. You want to kill the guys up here too before you start doing any looting. Just in case. You might want to scroll off those thrusters down just in case we accidentally smash. There's a guy there behind us. See the torch beam. A couple of guys there behind us, actually. Um, so, there you go. <laughs> That's it. We can get loads of loot from this area. Now, because I haven't really seen anyone do this, or maybe I just haven't found the video that talks about it. But either way, um, because I'm not showing this, we're going to have to have a little bit of, of uh, pilot etiquette in that what we'll do is we'll not take everything. We'll leave a little bit for the next person. I think that's fair, right? Oh, hello, little friend. Hello, little friend. Uh, let's land like this, shall we? We don't really have a good landing situation. So get as close as you can to the first set of loot. Engines off. Back door down. Get out of your seat. Now, for science, I don't actually know if Yella has an atmosphere. If we could take her helmet off. Now, we'll talk about the weapons that you get from this area because there's another area you can go to to loot some awesome gear. That looks okay. Now, preferably, you would want to bring a tractor beam, but again, we're starting with absolutely nothing. It's your first 5-10 minutes into 318.1 and you want to suit up. This is how you do it. Is the inventory of the Pisces working? Uh, yes. So we're just going to grab that. And now we will test the helmet uh, if I start to die. So bottom left-hand corner, am I choking? No. 97% health. So we can walk about yellow without a helmet on. Look at me there. Even though I look disgusting because this is my fleshy face. We're not choking. Awesome. So what that means we can do is we can put our undersuit back into our little starter ship. Run out to the body. Just be careful of respawns. Be very, very, very careful of respawns. Click loot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <clears> on. <throat> Grab the undersuit and put it on us. Oh, don't be like that. Come on. Come on. And it actually brings everything across. How cool is that? Let's grab our gun. Now, let's talk about the weapons that you get from the site. This is uh, medium armor. Yeah, it's full set of medium armor. Uh, well, the legs always seem to be light or medium. I haven't really found... Uh, <clears throat> heavy uh, legs for some reason uh, the gun 
is uh, I always forget the name of it. Um, P four A R or something like that. I don't want to miss uh, quote. Let's double check its name. Yeah, P four A R. Now the reason why the P four A R is a great sort of a starter weapon for getting you ready for bunkers is that the mobs around Crusader, the bunker mobs, drop them all the fucking time, which means you're going to get lots of ammo. Uh, in this area as well, they come with this scope, which is really cool because otherwise you'd have to buy it. So uh, I think a person's dead. So let's just check out the rest of this little area. Again, we're going to leave some loot behind for the next person that comes along because we're nice that way. But just making sure that no one else is going to pop up or take a pot shot at us. No, we're okay. We must be close enough that we're not causing the uh, the thing to spawn. It's a random med pen. Random. So uh, there's another of the P4As. We pick it up. We can <coughs> grab it. And then what you can actually do is you can holster this as well. Uh, holster uh, store. No. Oh, uh, sorry. I need to hold down number one on my keypad. Now I've got two on our back. There you go. <clears throat> and um, that means we can grab a third weapon. Now, we probably could land here. Again, this is where a tractor would be ideal. So maybe pick up a tractor before you go out here. Uh, I'm not seeing any heavy armor there. There's more weapons. So we'll grab maybe another... Uh, we'll try and get some heavy armor. So we'll go look up over there. We'll grab another weapon. But again, I said we're going to leave <laughs> some stuff for the next person. There we go. Uh, just so we're not taking everything. Did we get a med pen with looting this guy? Because we also want a few med pens. Uh, we did, but let's grab some more. <clears throat> um, so come here, you dude. Uh, loot. Oh, we've got some magazines, so we will take those. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. And fantastic. That's pretty cool armor, but I kind of like the armor that we've got. It's all good. So we'll just loot some heavy armor, and then we'll leave the rest for the next person. So let us have a look. Let's go into our... First person cam, is there any heavy armor over here? Uh, that might have despawned. What's that there? Oh shit, that's someone lighting us up. Hey, looks like someone's got the same idea as us. In a, what are they in? In a 400i. Hello, egg boy. I hope they don't kill us. Um, we're just here to grab some loot. Um, if they shoot us, we're screwed because... Um, yeah, well, we can outrun, well, we can't really outrun them because the 400 is really fast, but we can outmaneuver them, hopefully. I just want to grab some heavy armor, don't mind us. Yeah, they're already decked out, and they've got, I think, like, they've got some good weapons. So we're not going to get heavy armor here, um, but this is, this is it. This is how you get locked and loaded for 318.1 uh, in the first opening. We'll leave, we'll leave, uh, egg boy, to their looting. That's how you do it in the first few minutes. I'm going to show you one more um, trick, <clears throat> if my nose and lungs will, will hold out, of how uh, you can get some better, well, not better weapons, the, the P4 a well, debatable if you think they're better or not. The P4 AR is a great weapon because you'll always be able to lock, uh, reload <clears throat> when you do bunkers because that weapon is in a lot of the Crusader uh, bunker missions. Okay, we're going to go to Daymar. And we're going to go to Whistler's Crypt. I'm going to show you how to get to Whistler's Crypt um, manually. Because it's a bit trickier than the Utopia one. But start here and be considerate of your fellow pilots and leave some loot behind. I'll see you at Daymar. Here we are on the dark side of Daymar. Now this one is a bit trickier to do. There are lots of great content creators that have talked about getting to Whistler's Crypt manually. Um, props to them. That's how I learned uh, I'll try my best here while slightly, as we say, dosed or sick to talk you through it. So what we're looking for, first of all, is we're looking for the location. My head is completely gone. Uh, what one? The garden. The garden, right? I think that's right. <laughs> there we go, the garden. So we're looking for the garden. So we're going to warp over to the garden. Uh, we must actually explore the garden because I don't remember all this. Look at all this. What the hell? Anyway, wow. Was that all here before? Jesus. Well, that's for another video. Um, okay, so once you reach the garden, you want to look back down at the planet. 
and you're looking for a site that's like NTXI something, something IV. I think there's only one of them, so we'll just keep looking. NT something, NTV or something like that. So let's keep looking. There we go. Sorry, NT triple nine X V I. Now, when we start to warp there, you're going to want to manually power down your ship by hitting U. Once you get roughly 160 kilometers away from NT nine 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 X V I, that's going to manually pull you out of um, quantum and p position us above the Whistler's crypt area okay <clears throat> so uh we're going to quantum you can hold f on your keyboard and look up and then hover your finger over u and again we're just holding f and then looking up keep looking up so we're looking for the 150 60 70 sort of mark and now nah. and oh, we screwed the pooch shit uh Definitely screwed the pooch in that one. <laughs> um, and it's also the dark side, which is really, really shit. But what we're looking for is this big uh, outcropping over here. So maybe the dark side is a good way to talk, talk to you about how to find this, actually. So you want to look back the way, because we've overshot it. And you're looking for this big mound, this big lump. Okay, that's what you're looking for, first of all. Honestly, there are far better content creators than me to talk about this. Um, let us fly up into the atmosphere a bit, and I'll just be able to show you a bit better. So I'll get us back into the atmosphere a bit, and then we'll we'll look down on it, because I came out of quantum far too late. Almost uh, 50 kilometers, 60 kilometers too late. Now, I've manually flown us back a bit, so we're still seeing this big shape, this big lump. This is what it looks like. And what we're looking for is the bottom edge of it. Okay. So this bottom edge here, just follow the nose of the Pisces. You'll see like a hill range over here to the right, those dark spots. We're going to look to the left. And we're looking for the first dark spot that appears after that ridge. So down here. <laughs> you can actually see it from space a little bit. So all these little dark spots over a little bit right here so i'll take us in <clears throat> and uh i'll show you what that looks like if you're trying to follow the same uh, process again far better content creators than i talk through how to get to whistler's crypt that's where we're going um manually um even if i wasn't full health i probably wouldn't describe it very well but hopefully this helps if not Definitely just search on YouTube how to get to Whistler's Crypt. That is where we're going. Reentry is always so cool when you do it manually. Holy shit. Love it. Uh, of course, we're barreling down towards the planet. So just be very, very careful that you don't slam into the planet, especially as you, you might be in a starter ship if you're watching this, and they're quite fast compared to the other ships. What do we have to worry about here? Well, Whistler's Crypt is quite a popular location. Uh, so we just need to be careful of any uh, other players <clears throat> that might have the same idea as us. And again, cutlasses will will come in and to give the enemy nine tails or, or or whoever they are reinforcements. So this is the little area. Um, let's see what we've got here: <laughs> an anvil arrow. So that will be a player ship. And this is an area where you can pick up a heavier uh, machine gun. You can pick up lots of the same guns and armor. That we already have in the utopia uh, settlement it's a cool place to explore but very very dangerous there are a ton of npcs and of course the feckin sunrise is <laughs> just as we've approached so lots of activity there's this whole area here now what a lot of people do is they try and clear this area out and loot npcs spawn all over the place and you get shot to shit so let me show you a trick go over to the left here while looking at the cave dead on and you've actually got up here, so just to show you that in um, context, there's the whole sort of cave outpost. A little bit over to the left here, you've got a little area. Uh, it's actually a crashed uh, Star Runner, is it? Yeah, I think it is, which is really cool. Um, now, someone may have already beat us to it here. 
because but there's our heavy armor and there's the gun i want to grab the fs9 heavy smg which is just an awesome gun so we'll just keep a close eye here and see if there are any bad guys there should be some bad guys but we've got lucky someone else has killed them and left us a bit of loot which is very kind of them I'm just getting as close to the body as possible, just so, you know, I'm not exposed to the elements. I think that's okay. Probably could have got a bit closer, but that's fine for now. Engine off, so our ship doesn't go flying away. I'm going to get out of my seat. <clears throat> uh, now, does Daymar have an atmosphere? We will test this for science. So, I... Let's put our stuff in our ship. Keep an eye on our health. 97. Damn it, my hydration. I always forget that. Now, just be careful there's no one about. Because usually I said there's tons of NPCs here, but someone's beat us to it. Uh, health is going down. Health is going down. <laughs> so, I was probably, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's do it the old school way then. Um, the main thing I want from this guy is heavy armor and those lovely FS9 guns. Let's just check there's no one about to be sure. Okay. So this is where we're getting the heavy armor. Sweet. So we want to be super quick here because we're super, super exposed. So let's grab the heavy armor. Come on. You double click it as well. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Again, see the legs are medium. I can't find good legs. Uh, let's try and do the trick where we drop the helmet and then quickly put the <coughs> other helmet on. Uh, this is where the game... And then quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. There we go. There we go. So a little bit of choking, but we're fine. Bum bum bush, and here we go. This is what we're looking for. FS9. This is a beauty. Look at it. I look at it properly when I'm on the ship because we're super super exposed. Holster weapon. Let's grab another one. Grab. Okay. Let's be very careful. Let's just check to see. There's no one gonna pop shot us in here. No, that's fine. I've never actually explored in there, so we can do that one day. There's another. Oh, that's a shotgun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shotgun. I mean, you take the shotgun if you want. Um, let's take the shotgun. No harm in taking the shotgun. Let's just loot this guy. And you can try and, you know, you can do this armor for backup armor and stuff like that. If you so want to. Grab a med pen. Uh, again, one thing you want to bring is a tractor. Because then we could tractor them to the safety of our ship and cover. It would make things so much quicker. So tractor, tractor, tractor. That's worth the investment. Let's grab the shotgun. <coughs> Not very good for range, of course. Uh, yeah, there we go. Successful loot. So just before we finish up the video, I will show you the rest of the complex. But again, I recommend going over here. That's you now really locked and loaded. Look at all our loot. God, I love loot in this game. Um, what I also wanted to show you is you can take the P4AR, I believe. Hit I whenever you are you're have it uh, equipped. Grab the scope. And I believe the scope will go on our big gun. Now, it's not a good scope for the big gun. I think like a four times zoom, optical zoom is good on the big gun. But if you want a scope, it's not too bad. There you go. And then you just sell that weapon that doesn't have the scope. Whoops. And grab one of the ones that does. And there you go. Put some magazines on. Now, we don't have any uh, magazines for FS9, so we will want to loot a bit more to grab just that. But let me finish off the video uh, by showing you the rest of the complex. Um, and let's see if we can loot without getting shot. Okay, don't try this at home. Very careful flying third person. Um, now, no, as I said, normally there's loads of people here, like NPCs, but someone must have raided this recently, the person who was in the, the arrow. I'm just going to turn my lights on. Oh, Jesus. Can't really see too well with that. There is a body. There's a couple of bodies there. Oh. Yeah. So we weapon there, do you see? To see if anybody's spawning. I'd like some more of that FS9 weapon. There's, there's a couple of FS9s there. Maybe shotguns. So let's land just beside them. We set our camera. <coughs> Landing gear down. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, the, the, the engine <laughs> thrusters can blow weapons away, so you have to just be careful with that. Um, and a tractor beam would have been handy. Oh, payday. FS9 on the shoddy. 
Okay, we're very, very exposed here, like this. Come on. There we go, there we go. Um, just seeing if there's... So this, what I'm doing now is pretty stupid. What the hell was that? Because I'm out in the open, but... The NPCs, if they're having an accurate day, could blast us, but they don't seem to be spawning. Like, you can get them up in that tower as well. So you just have to be careful. Let's take another um, P4AR for the ammunition. And we'll leave the rest for the next people who come along. Because there's some more weapons and armor over there. And there you have it. So you can see our loot here on the right-hand side. We're well equipped and, again... If we'd taken everything, we would have tons of loot. And that's how you can get locked and loaded um, for 318.1 in mere minutes. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry for the sniffling and sputtering and sputtering. I'm going to go and take uh, more cold medication, pass out. Uh, I hope that when 318.1 comes, uh, you do have good luck in your looting. Uh, and again... Leave some behind for the next person, because a lot of people could start doing this. <laughs> uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, of course. Ooh, look at those guns. Right. Uh, <laughs> my name is Brewcrick. You can call me Brew. Thanks for watching this video, and hopefully I'll be well recovered for the next one. See you then. I'm super excited for 318.1. Fingers crossed. It, it sorts things. Please, please. Bye, guys. Can you feel... The love tonight. Oh, shit. The Pisces and the guy. He's looking at me with his torch. He doesn't know that he's about to die. Bah! <laughs> oh, I've taken too much cold medication. Right. Continue to kill everybody around here.